imagine you were outside, maybe tending your fields hundreds or thousands of years ago, and the light starts to change around you. Shadows are getting strange. Maybe some of them start looking like little crescents. And there's this eerie sunset all around you. The winds start to change. Maybe there's a chill in the air and the animals are starting to get restless. And you feel this urge to look up, but the sun has become a little tiny black hole in the sky with all these silver threads around it. Then within a minute or two, things quickly start to go back to normal. You know, back then, this strange and maybe even frightening event is something you probably will never experience again, a total solar eclipse. But today, we know where and when they will happen with amazing precision, somewhere on Earth, down to the second. But this event we know through science is more than just a lining up of Earth, Moon, and Sun. Your experience also depends on your ability to travel, on the terrain. And if you get there, it'll happen, but you may not see it depending on the clouds and the weather. When you see an eclipse, you're seeing a unique experience. Every time what you see and hear and feel is different. But the heavens are giving you a glimpse of one of one trillion trillion stars in the universe, our own star, the sun. But you know, even if you can't experience it in person, you can watch it online and see an eclipse from almost anywhere. You know, but also seeing other people experience it is really worth it. From the for the 2017 eclipse, clouds meant that, you know, while I got to experience the change around me, the change in environment, the temperature and light, even animals becoming restless, I couldn't see the sun. I couldn't see the corona. I couldn't see that flash of light before totality and after totality called the diamond ring. But what I did get to see during that was someone else seeing it live from a different location during the eclipse. And they were seeing it for the first time. And I could feel the joy, the excitement, the awe, the emotion they were experiencing was overwhelming. I could feel it through the TV, almost like it was happening to me. I could feel it inside of me. But when I have seen an eclipse, during that brief moment, it feels like time stops. And that immense force that gives us life, the sun, is suddenly gone and it's insignificant. And I feel this amazing connection to the universe and everything around me. And then all of a sudden it was over and I really wanted more. So it's not just about the science about this confluence of events, of celestial bodies moving. It's about the human experience.